if you guys own this little box, have you ever tried the loop function using the delay? Well, we will give it a shot today on Epic Fuzz. Hey guys, Epic Fuzz here with a quick video uh, using the DigAttack and the SP404SX. And we're gonna be doing some quick beats, making quick beats really fast using the loop function delay. All right guys, this little box always wonders me and always never ceases to amaze. So you can actually use the loop function, use this as a looper just by using the delay function, delay effects in this box. So you want to set your BPM, if your goal BPM of your beat is going to be like 120, you want to set the delay, or the BPM of your SX to half. So that would be 60. So we'll set this as 60. That's done. And you go in delay, your settings would be about 50% here for this knob, and then turn your feedback all the way up. And here you want to select either T1, T2, T4, or T8, and I will do T2. Four right now because those are evenly sectioned for the delay so all you got to do is watch the delay is on and I'm just gonna I have a kick right here here we go and it's on oh the cats coming to play guys the cat is in the shot so that's just the delay. So if we, we can loop this now, we can loop it with other sounds. Let's see what we got here. Let's try this rim shot, ready? I actually, oh, I did it twice there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do that again, guys. I messed that one up. So we'll do it again. See that? Ah, oh, that is wonderful. So look for a hi hat. Here we go. Alright, then we'll look for a snare. Hopefully it's not too loud. Here we go. It's looping just for the delay and what what you can do is you can resample this so here we go we're gonna sample so i get it on beat here we go all right so that's done so let's hear it let's turn the delay off Oh, sorry. And there it is. It's on, I looped it, turned the gate off, and it's on the first chain. So let's do another one. I need a nice hat. Here we go. All right, dude, we're gonna find we're gonna find a hat. We'll do this one. Here we go. Way off, guys. I'm way off there, but oh well, we're gonna go with that. Get a snare in there. Here we go. How we get some uh, texture? Let's get some texture in this one. Ready? Here we go. Now we can resample this. So let's see what that sounds like. Oh yeah. I feel like I'm in the club. Set it to 40. Okay, 
this and so you want to do this the balance here the feedback all the way let's do the balance to half and we will do let's do t2 and then since we set that to 40 we got to set the main bpm to 80 because it's double that so let's do this and this is for a nice slow jam for everyone who wants to you know get slow yeah Oh yeah, has a little chump at the end. I don't know what that is, but oh well. Let's um now let's go add and layer some stuff over this. There's a clap. Let's see what this does. Oh, this is that's the same clap I used on the last one. Our hi hat. Cowbell. That's the same one. That's a snare. I'm just layering it all on. Let's just layer it all on. Get some texture on this puppy. Who's ready? Here we go. Oh, what is that? I can't. This is all right. Let's do this one. It's over. This. This jam is ridiculous. It makes no sense to me. Got some effects. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So if you like this video and this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. And know that Epic Fuzz is always here, coming up with the best. Well, I think is the most cool tips and tricks with using these little devices because remember you are the star you are the creator these things are just vehicles for you to create what you see in your head out so people can see it so we'll guys see you next time like and subscribe epic fuzz i'm out of here